So here's the new uh, equipment shelter here at the farm. It was uh, three guys. They did a lot in one day. It's a uh, 40 by 60. Uh, it's going to be a pole barn. Uh, three sides. The front will be open, so it'll be five bays. Should be well, it's 60, so it should be probably thinking between the bays like 11 and a half feet or something like that. I forgot what it worked out to be. But it was just three guys that worked uh, yesterday on this. Got all the poles put in and they're all treated, but they still took the extra time to wrap them up for a little extra protection. And I liked when they uh, when they augered the holes. They had these precast like little concrete pads that they put down in the hole. Uh, they're like eight inches, eight to ten inches thick, and it's what it was the diameter of the auger bit, so that these poles actually had something solid to sit on. So you, you got more of a bearing weight over the whole surface of the hole versus just you know the six by six post, and then they poured concrete around it. And they did the post. I think these are. Not sure what they did back here. The centers. I think those are eight foot on centers. That's what that worked out to be. But they're doing a treated band across the top. And then they were marking it out yesterday. I'm not sure. But I think the uh, the rest of these two buys, two by one of those tens, will pretty much wrap around it like this so that the tin has something to screw to. It's going to have metal sides and metal back. And the trusses came today. They got those dropped off out here. It finally dried some. Gosh, it was wet out here. I had to come out here with a tractor. I mean, you get stuck out here. It was so wet. I'll have to cut all this out and put some gravel out here. But here's the trusses. That's actually the gable end right there. And he had, uh, obviously they got the webbing in there, but he had them put these uh, braces right here so they have something to screw the tin to as it's running vertical. Guy seems to know what he's uh, what he's doing. They're uh, Mennonite hay barn builders. And uh, they got the they got the barn building down pat. So he said they should uh, be able to get the top band put on and all these trusses set tomorrow. So when I come back from home from work, we'll see what they got done. They're all going to set these trusses with that skid steer. They got like a little boom pole attachment over there. I like to see that, but I'll probably be gone when they set that and here we are at the end of day three those three guys had a very productive uh, three days and got all the uh, rafters put up there well yesterday they put the the boards up for the uh, walls and the, the top for the uh, trusses to sit on they doubled up three two by twelves and notched them and bolted them in and got a couple they got the gable end trusses set and then uh, today they finished putting all the trusses up and all the slats for the tin to sit to um, screw to had a pretty uh, pretty productive week or three days their uh, metals ordered it won't come in till Tuesday so It'll be Wednesday before they uh, uh, can come back and put the wrap, wrap it with metal. It's going to be three sides with just the front open. It's got three foot of overhang. Um, keep kind of help keep the rain from blowing into it. And he'll, um, there's no overhang on the sides. He's actually going to wrap that in metal so that it's actually uh, a nice. Uh, pretty much a trim on it. 
there's no way it can leak or anything. I wasn't sure. I was kind of concerned when I saw that all those were cut off, but he kind of reassured me that it's going to be uh, trimmed out right. <clears throat> Seems like he knows what he's doing. Kind of like homeowners when I'm doing work. They're kind of all paranoid about what it's going to look like, and I'm not even sweating a bullet. I guess I'm kind of the same way. Kind of. Everybody's got their own style of ways of doing things. But I got faith in him. He's done a good job. It's going to be a nice equipment shelter. He did give me a good compliment on the pad. He said the pad was uh, perfect. <laughs> he said it uh, it was very nice. He said we barely even needed the they barely even needed the laser when they laid the post out to get them set them all to the right depth. He said we could just measure off the pad and it was going to be right. So there it is. I'm excited. About two more days with metal and it'll be done. And day four on the barn, they got the roof on, the back and one side and most of the other. I'll tell you what's true, these guys don't play around. And they've uh they've done a lot of work here. That's a lot of metal to put up. <laughs> There's a lot of metal to put up in it. Go ended up going with the beige side there or just so it doesn't. He did it all green. It would be a very, very dark green building. So I was trying to get it where I didn't uh, see it through the woods from the house. But you know what? I rather look at something that looks good versus a big green blob. It ain't like you can't see all my other crap. But yeah, it uh, the the back is green. So what I'll do, I'll. Uh, end up coming up here and backfilling right up to the bottom of it just so you can see a little bit of that and that'll keep any water from ever trying to run back in there yeah back will be green I'm not sure how they do the corner there but there's some trim pieces that go all the way around it and you got the green on the back back here. If it was all green, she'd be dark, no doubt. But well, that'll kind of, when you're looking from the back of the house back there across here, you won't see a big massive beige building. You'll see the back of it right here. I'm, uh, I've been pleased with the work they've done. I do the same back here. Come up here and backfill it up on that board kind of get this slope graded out and spread that out and maybe put like some wood chips or something on it just so it doesn't wash so there's going to be a lot of water coming off this off this roof that's going to pour down and could possibly erode this but yeah a little bit more and finish the ridge cap and be done It'll be about four and a half days on this barn. That, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Well, I'm really impressed. Five days, four, it was four and a half, five days it took them to uh, completely build it. But they got it done. There's one little piece of trim they got to come back and finish on the back. But they got it all trimmed out. The fascia on it up there. I mean, look at that. Perfect. Look at the screws. Just everything is just as perfect as you can ask for. I mean, look at that. Look how straight the screws are. It's just fantastic work they do. Absolutely fantastic. They run, I guess they were one piece of trim short. They got to come back and finish the corner. But I'm sure they'll. And look, cleaned up everything. There's a random screw here and there, but everything, just the way they leave the job is just. I love it. No big mess for me to clean up. Got my corner trim on. And the trim up top.
don't know how they finished putting that darn tin up today. We've had like 40 mile an hour winds. I bet they had fun, but we get a three foot overhang. That should keep any rain from blowing in. That should work really good. Super happy. Should be a nice, nice shelter. They, uh, they did a phenomenal job. Time to fill it up.